So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0103 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the Kia P0103 code? Well, it's a mass airflow, circuit high airflow, and high voltage output. And what does this mean? Well, there's a sensor called the mass airflow sensor or the MAF sensor. It's located up near the air intake box, and it basically measures all the air that goes into the engine. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And the onboard computer's seen a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting know why and some possible causes well it could be a bad or dirty mass sensor could be a dirty intake air filter could be in the wiring might be a blown fuse there could be a vacuum leak and it can also be a restricted exhaust like a clogged catalytic converter or something like that but usually when that happens you're going to get other codes so if you are getting other codes be sure to pay attention to that and so the first thing to go and check when you get this code is check your air intake filter since if that filter gets really dirty and gets clogged up then it could block the flow of air going into the engine and that can cause some problems sometimes so check that be sure that that looks good and the next thing to do is go check out that map sensor it'll be located in between the air intake box and the throttle body and once you locate it check out the wiring real good be sure that all looks like it's connected there's no open shorts anything like that basically keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so be sure to check that out and the sensor can be tested to see if it's working correctly. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing one of these sensors. A very common problem with these MAF sensors is that they become dirty and they just need to be cleaned up. There's some cleaner called MAF airflow sensor cleaner that you can buy at like automotive stores or places like this. And you basically take them out, you clean them up real good, you put them back in, you clear the code, and then you see if the code comes back. If you can't get a hold of mass airflow sensor cleaner, then isopropyl alcohol often works pretty good. But that is very common for these to get dirty and just need to be cleaned up. Of course, it could have also failed and need to be replaced. But the next thing to do is to test it and be sure it's working correctly or replace it. And another thing that can throw off those sensors is a vacuum leak or an air intake leak. Basically, one of these hoses going into the intake is just leaking and it's throwing that sensor off. And so if you go through and you know that sensor is good and you checked out the wiring, you know that's good. Then the next thing to do is go around all these hoses and be sure everything looks like it's connected, that there's no leaks or anything like that. There's some different methods for how you go about checking for a vacuum leak. But if you go through, you know that sensor is good, you know the wiring is good, there's no issues there. Then the next thing to look for is going to be a vacuum leak.